Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching my previous video. Um, and with this one, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And yeah, let me just get into it. So speaking about Michael and Amber, I didn't make a video yesterday, but I wanna comment on it now. So from the beginning of yesterday's episode, I think Michael is, I'm sorry, I agree with John. I think he's a snake, I'm sorry. And that's just, just that's just the way I'm feeling. Reason because, how can he say in one breath, oh, I found what I'm looking for, and then say I'm sad to see her go? Make it make sense. That doesn't make sense. If you are sad to see her go, and you don't want her to go, your dumb ass would have followed her, and done what I'm not gonna, what I thought he was gonna do. I said, nah, he gonna go. And he didn't go. And it's like, what are you here for? He keeps on, he was crying in this episode, crying in this episode, crying in the last episode. I don't want to hear, I don't want to see all them crocodile teeth because if I had a problem and I was able to solve it, I would just go solve it, no? If there's a really simple, easy solution, I would just go do that. He wants to be on here continuously to be famous. Then, okay, that's cool. But stop going on like you're this genuine person. Like, I feel like he's just so wrong for that. And for those who are upset at her for being aggressive i disagree i don't think she was being aggressive i would have given him that same energy call it what you want i don't care i would have given him that same energy because in my head i would i thought he was going to leave and she thought he was going to leave as well and then when he was like oh um who said i'm not gonna leave who said i'm not gonna leave you did when you said i'm sad to see her go not i'm sad that we're gonna leave the house i'm gonna sad to see her go you separated her from you so it was never gonna happen and he's just being fake about it and it's really really irritating me because i'm not gonna play the world's smallest violin for him I'm not playing a recorder not a flute not a trombone i'm not interested he's just nah i'm done with him and when he does leave the house and when the show is over she, I, I hope she doesn't actually get back with him because there's just no reason to he's not consistent he's not he's just he's just gonna waste her time as he's clearly going around wasting people's time so that's 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 that's, that's what he's about so yesterday I didn't even get to watch Love Island so I didn't really understand this whole sit down thing so I watched it today okay me personally I don't think he was as bad as Twitter said it was I literally thought he'd done some like madness I don't think he's as bad as what he like what he came across he was like I think he said could you sit down for us or something because you know how they speak up in Manchester and them places and I guess she didn't hear and he's like sit down um okay it was a bit don't get me wrong especially because of the context it came across a bit weird but I think he wasn't trying to be rude. But I see why people could see that he was being rude because again, the context in which it's in and the relationship or the lack thereof that they have currently, it doesn't give, it doesn't make people feel comfortable that you're saying those types of things in this atmosphere. And which is why Amber was justified to in today's episode saying that you speak to me as if you don't like me or like you're angry at me. And I, and I completely, completely see where she's coming from 100% now he was very savage in our conversation yesterday i think he was like he was literally sat down for two seconds he was speedy gonzalez he was just blah, 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 and just literally barely like he just had his own monologue that he wanted to say and then that was it i think it was a very very strange conversation and i felt bad for her um because of course she opened up and then that's what she got like there's one thing to be like oh no thank you for that but i'm not really interested but he was a bit more spicy than just what I just mentioned. So I just think it was a bit, it was a bit, a lot for her. And I, I'm, I'm happy that she handled herself well, but this girl, yeah, I would have just, it honestly is crazy because she really could have turned out and she didn't and I'm proud of her for not doing so. And Michael's just consistently showing me that he's annoying. So he's saying that him staying in the house is a test. Why do people keep on putting themselves in these types of situations that they think is a test? This is the exact same rubbish that Lucy said. Like it's, I didn't buy it when she said it. I'm not buying it now. It's not, a, these are just, these are not unnecessary. So you're put, you're, oh, let me go and do a test. Let me go test my relationship. No, if things come and challenges come, then we'll deal with it as it comes. But you don't intentionally go out there and look for challenges to see if you guys can solve it. That's just weird to me. That's not normal nature. I think Amber was justified in being upset with people for not sticking up for her. Um, usually, if that has happened in the past, she stuck up, um, Anna has stuck up. Mora does have a big mouth now. Whether she says it to the people, I don't know. I can't remember. But she does usually speak up. And it's just kind of like, and it didn't look like anyone came to console her. They kind of just was like, when she was like, give me a minute. And then they would just kiki key with him instead of like really like saying, okay, what did you do to her? What did you say to her? 
blah 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 and I think she was justifiably upset I guess she, Maura is the only one that heard it but it was for everyone that didn't say anything and especially because they gassed her up into saying it and then when he put her back down they weren't they didn't put a cushion underneath her to like help with the, the, the fall down like don't you, she, they needed to support her still and it didn't look like they were doing that um, so moving on to the conversation that Michael and Amber had later on in the day when he pulled her I'm glad he said sorry because he knew he was wrong. Um, so he was a bit too spicy um, And again in the context you can't she's gonna take it in the wrong way naturally period because you don't really say just sit down That was a command you didn't say can you sit down like what he said to Ovi he said sit down um, I'm proud again Ovi once again just the realest of the real he spoke to Michael and gave him some perspective. No one said with more, no one said you have to turn up on him, you have to scream and da 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 da. But the way in which Ovi spoke to him gave him perspective. That's why he did what he needed to do. Because I don't know, sometimes when hearing it from someone else, especially people respect Ovi, he's smart, he's wise. So Michael went to go do the right thing. Um, I'm happy that Amber still was, she, I think she needs a good cry. You know, you just need a good cry. So I'm happy she had her good cry out. She explained everything. You know, able to open up, and he admitted that he was angry at home, put like putting his fingers on her, which is probably good, great for her to hear. And then she said, "You're always speaking to me like you're angry." And maybe now he has new perspective. So hopefully now they can speak to each other differently, receive each other differently, and just move on. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of sick of it. It's just a lot. It's consistently, consistently coming up, and it's like. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Let's just leave it. Producers, yeah, you failed because you guys think you're smart and it's not gonna happen like that. I'm not too sure how much I buy the whole you are wearing heels thing. It sounds plausible, but I don't know if it's plausible for a Michael. But it sounds plausible. Um, I just think, yeah, wrong context. So even if, like, like Amber said, even if that wasn't your intention, you, you like, you, sometimes I can still be hurt by what the things that you do. So despite what his intention was he upset her and the way he spoke to her was just not appropriate um considering what they've been through so he was wrong i'm glad he apologized let's just move on let's just move on let's just move on quickly Maura and curtis i guess they're an item right now qua still don't think it's gonna work out happy that franny's not even gonna have to waste her time because franny's way too fine to be messing with big belly curtis Okay, Belle and Anton, yes, they had an aggressive argument. Yes, it was fiery. Yes, they were shouting. Yes, they were calling each other names. I'm sorry, who don't, I'm, I haven't argued like that, you thank God. But people people in relationships argue like that and it doesn't mean, oh, it's the end of the world, you have to lock it off. If they are happy to try and work through things and say, okay, this is where I'm, this is what I'm not accepting. This is what I'm not accepting. I didn't like what you did here. I didn't like what you did there. You get back to here. Because like the commentator said, if, people broke up every time they were in a relationship everyone would be single oh well he never said that he said that they won't have flowers at a gas station but same difference um it just would every, people have arguments that's fine it's just to see if they can bounce back there's a difference between someone being angry at you and them having like a really bad personality trait and i think if they want to try and make it work i'm so who, who are we to say no but the thing that irritated me the most about this whole Belle and Anton thing is Molly May. I'm so happy I said it in my video that this girl's such a stirrer. She's always, always in at some stuff. She's always the first one to speak. She's getting on my nerves. This girl must be bored with Tommy because she's in at everybody else's been at business and not in at her own. Like when Tommy was date was seeing Mora, she was shouting out, he was laying down on the bed, laying down, chilling, relaxing, and she was shouting at him over the bed. That was, that was an aggressive argument. That was a very aggressive argument, Molly, considering, considering, well, at least Molly was real enough to tell Belle what she thought about it, but she just needs to mind her business. Belle, Belle is a big girl. Mind your business. I'm just, this girl's so annoying. Like, she's just always talking. She's always talking. Someone needs to shut her up. And again, she said that, oh, I need a bit more convincing. Who's trying to convince you? You're not judge, jury, or executioner. You are nobody. You're not voting. You're, like, you're just nobody. So she just needs to sit down in the corner and stop talking because at this rate, her and Tom Miranda win this 50k if you keep someone in her mouth. Okay, and my last point, the new Islanders. The guy, he's okay, he's cute-ish. He kind of looks like a rugby player. What does that mean? I don't know, but I just feel like he looks like that. I don't know if he's gonna be Amber's type. 
I'm gonna say no because she said tattoos and piercings. I've never heard someone say that their type in boys is them having piercings, but sis, what you like is what you like, girl. If you like it, I love it. Um, so we'll see how that goes down. The blonde girl, I don't know if it's because she has um, fillers in her mouth, but this whole is irritating. This whole it's irritating she's walking around like as if there's usually a natural space in her mouth no one just naturally walks around like like that like it just doesn't happen it's kind of a bit weird um ovi let's not even waste let's, let's not waste no time i know you're a really polite guy and i'm glad you're polite but that's not the move that's not the move bro that's not what i see for your future so no and then the other girl chris and i can't remember i don't remember what her name is sorry the, br the brunette one I don't really think it's not, not it doesn't appear that like anything interesting is gonna happen from these three love I mean these three islanders and we only have two weeks um, I don't know if they're gonna bring in more people but I think people quite seem quite set in what they're doing um, so yeah I think this episode overall was a bit tired but I guess they did well yesterday so you know not every episode can be good um, but that's it for me guys please like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye